Hey everybody, it's Alexander Williamson here with The Secret History, Living in Your Aquarium. I've been censored. I had a video taken down and a strike given to me. Now, I didn't just have it demonetized, I didn't just have it limited monetization, I had it striked. And it was for animal... I can't even say the word. Because it could add to another video getting taken down. So, I have a list that I'm going to show you guys later, and it's written pretty jumbled because uh, I don't know, I don't want the, the scanner to be able to read it as well. It might anyways, and this might be the fifth time I record this video and try to upload it. But I'm going to need your help if you know some of these trigger words that are totally reasonable words to be using that are not, uh, they shouldn't be offending anyone necessarily, or they shouldn't be... Um, they're not historically inaccurate in the sense of if we're talking about a fish from a location that doesn't exist anymore, a country that's no longer a country, but to the people who live there now, they want to be called by the current name of the country, for instance. Like the Siamese cat, there is the Siamese betta. Well, it has another name, and if you include that adjective of what it does with its aggression when you put it with another betta, if it goes by that name, boom, it it, it sends off signals. If you hit too many points of these things that the algorithm has deemed unacceptable, your video gets defunded. Then no one sees it or gets demonetized, rather, or limited monetization, either or, unless people see it. The alerts don't go out. They have to click on it specifically on your channel. Or if it gets enough of these, like my betta and shrimp keeping video did last week, apparently you can get a strike for it and i need your guys help to figure out what the heck's going on now i did some research the last week and i have a list of words that definitely seem to set things off but i would like to know of any more in the comments if you guys know them or if you want to help me figure this out also there is another great video by a group called nerd city that has looked into this and in all spaces that you might not expect to have an overlap with my issues I'm having, the LGBTQ community of vloggers have stories like my coming out story, being a blank individual, and then using one of the terms they use to identify. Well, if they use that term, it turns out that they were getting their videos demonetized or banned. If they typed it in as a keyword, they were getting it blocked. Now, because it translates everything you've said, even if you say a word on accident like fork and they think that it was something else that starts with an F in his four letters, boom, that is a point or three points or however they do it. If it happens in the first 30 seconds of your video, that's even more counting towards it. So especially that in live streams, if you do something or say something with a swear word in the first 30 seconds, boom, it's going to be demonetized. Um, some people don't mind. They can do ad reads for other things or they're not into making money and I get that. But my frustration is when I say something that gets demonetized or worse off taken down, I've already done that work. I already made the video and boom, it gets taken down and you lose the revenue yet they've already run the ads and they're getting the revenue. Um, and beyond that, it doesn't alert the people who want to know about the video, even if it just demonetizes it. So people won't see it. It won't be promoted like the other videos are. Now, this happens frequently in the pow pow section, uh, people who are into that sport and, and uh, hobby. Uh, and they've had frustrations with that for a long time. But it has to do predominantly with reproductive terms in biology and also aggressive terms in biology and that is what triggered it but what surprised me was my video was taken down for the thumbnail so the fact that i showed a shrimp and a fish together in a scene a a, a betta and a neocaridina shrimp in a scene sent their trigger flags up and they said that I had to take down the video. And actually what they did is they took, first they took the tile down and said, you need to have a new thumbnail. Uh, your thumbnail has been deemed uh, inappropriate. This is a warning. You get two more in 90 days. Then uh, at about 30 minutes later, they took the whole video down. So it probably got through human review and then got taken down. So let me ex just explain a little bit about what Nerd City, the link below, the long investigation they carried out as a, a channel with a lot more resources than I. 
they found that the LGBTQ community, when this same thing was going on or is going on and they're having their content flagged, they have figured out that it was not just one thing. It's when you do certain combinations. And because of this, they asked YouTube, give us a list of words we can or can't say, images we can or can't show. We know nudity is not okay, but can we show this or that? You know, what's doing it? Because we're left in the dark as creators. Hmm? Eh, get it? The theme? Uh, but as creators, you know, we're left in the dark on this and we don't have any idea what we're supposed to fix about it sometimes. And then we don't know what to do in order to get it back up. And uh, things like that I just said, getting it back up, if I didn't put back in there, it could interpret that as something inappropriate, add it to the list. So you always have to be careful about phrasing. Uh, if you've watched Archer, you know this already. But I'm going to show you guys my list in a moment after I explain why YouTube is telling the truth when they say they don't have necessarily a list they can check. So what happens is they have an AI uh, bot or program algorithm that is learning and it is taught by humans. Now they have humans all over the world who review content and there is a company by the name of Lionbridge and they do consulting work or contract work for Google and YouTube. Now, Lionbridge hires in countries like Pakistan, United Arab Emirates, the EU, uh, and all the countries in the EU, the UK, um, you know, the Netherlands, France, Germany, all that. So their terms and their laws are different. So it may be illegal to have two roosters um, engaging in combat. And I, I don't, I'm not an approve, I don't approve of that content at all whatsoever. Um, anything for the spectacle I don't like. When people send a goldfish down a tube to go spiraling 30 times, you know, down uh, a, a siphon tube, I think that's terrible. Or when they're feeding live animals just for the entertainment value, quote unquote, or for the shock value, for the, the clicks, I hate that. Unless it's educational uh, and relevant and something that is being advocated uh, or, or harm reductive, I don't think it should be shown. But that being said, maybe we're having an issue like they were having. They found back then that when they were hiring these remote workers to go through and review the content, that what happened was they knew that it was illegal in their country to be someone who liked someone of the same gender, for instance, or to promote that activity or that state of being or that, that verbiage or pronouns. Um, and so they would mark things like that as inappropriate well then the algorithm has to go back and either a human has to correct it or the algorithm says okay well here's all these inappropriate things i'm taking them down and i noticed that these keywords are always used so sometimes words that are completely harmless like club happen to be in there um mom or mother daughter as a tag word happened to be one that they associated with a certain genre of adult film so in our hobby, the same thing's happening, and that's where I need your help. And I put these together. I hope this doesn't trigger it. I'm going to show you guys the words that I know for sure. Two of them are words, well, three that are words that I've done just because they were an issue in the past with this uh, video linked below. They know for a fact. They tried it. They made accounts that were monetized. They talked to creators, and they compiled a list of how bad each word was, how many times you could use it before you'd become demonetized, before you'd become banned or get a strike. And these are the words that I've sorted out. Now, freeze the screen, if you will, because if you want to see them, uh, just freeze the screen. Uh, hopefully it wasn't up long enough that the algorithm is going to lock on and find it. it wasn't the whole screen, it wasn't text. So those words though, if I use more than like two of them, boom, my video is taken down. So for an example, you may say, well, then don't use those words. <clears throat> One, there's no list of what those words are. And two, they're sometimes as harmless as talking about, you know, the cats that are black and gray or dark gray and light gray, and they have blue eyes that are usually crossed. And uh, they uh, come from the country of Thailand and they use the old name for the country of Thailand. Well, apparently that's an offensive term to some people in Thailand. So that's just a low, like a one point thing. But you combine it with the term fighting and fish 
and boom, they think you're doing something like fighting other animals. And the fact that I'm saying that, I might have just jinxed myself in this video. So sorry if I sound like I'm just dancing around subjects like crazy. But at least they're doing something about animal harm in these videos. And uh, if you say things like uh, the, a four-letter word that starts with an R that is a crime, a very bad crime that happens uh, when someone takes advantage of another person violently um, in a specific way, then boom, the video can get flagged down, even if it's reading the news or something. So in our hobby, though, there's videos where I'm talking about fish that like clownfish that boom, certain hormones trigger. I talk about those hormones, boom, they think hormone replacements being talked about, or they think about testosterone and illegal use of it's being talked about. And all of a sudden now they link it to bad content. Then I go ahead and I post the word that means uh, a male or female creature at birth with both organs and boom, it gets hit again. Then in my speech, I say something like, hey, hey uh, I was eating with a fork yesterday. And maybe they see that word and it was translated wrong. And it's another four letter word that starts with an F. So you can see where these things would add up. So I got the beta video, beta and shrimp video back. But another big one that I wanted to tell you, other than the old name for uh, beta splendens, which used to be the country of Thailand's old name, a verb of what they do with one another if they're put together oftentimes, and then uh, the word fish, a three-part word. Another one that was really surprising and that definitely triggers it because I got an, a letter about it or an email about it is a word that means small. And if we're talking about cichlids or we're talking about uh, fry or even a, just a small uh, species, like there's the pygmy crayfish, there's the pygmy sunfish, well, the other word that starts with the DW and ends in ARF, that word, if that gets used, boom, it's called hate speech because they don't like that term. And I don't think it's that community that said anything. It's just that either it's been linked to uh, inappropriate adult sites, illegal activity, or to complaints that have come up that are violating terms of use on YouTube. So the AI has created a list, basically, of these terms. And once they're used in combination or once too many are said, whatever, boom, it gets flagged. And then it either gets stifled in how many people see it and you don't make any money off the ads or they remove the ads or it downright gets taken down and you get a strike if there's enough of these factors, which apparently is what happened the other day to my video. Now I've appealed it. It's fine. I had to change some words before I could get it monetized fully again. But this is a big issue for channels. If I did a whole series on this and released a couple of videos within three months, it could mean the end of the channel. Uh, especially when things like accidentally someone in the background playing something copyrighted or something being triggered because the Eiffel Tower image is IP that belongs to somebody. If they want to be nitpicky, things like that can get you taken down. If you already have a strike, all of a sudden, the level of what needs to be reported goes up. And there are channels like Magnet Balls that I have reported and done other videos on showing that they're letting animals die on the set, that they're putting animals together that are fighting. And I know I've said that word with an F several times now, so I hope I haven't ruined the video. But you can go watch that video on the channel Magnet Balls and complain there because their stuff's all still up, all still with ads, and yet they are taking down my video and giving me strikes, even though they made it right. So I'm not complaining to them about my video, but I'm just saying, where are the standards? We need to refine this and we need to come up with a way to deal with this for animals uh, and their welfare. So thank you for watching. Again, if you know some of the things that set this off or you know any more insight into uh, this, you work there or you're one of the people who scrubs through videos and terms and data, please let me know. Uh, thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, share this with anybody that you think it's useful. If you've got other you know, friends in the pet hobby or nature documentaries or whatever, history. Um, it could come up in a lot of places and uh, it just doesn't seem right when it's being well, the words are being used educationally and properly. Uh, all right, guys, I'll talk to you next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be alerted to the next video, you know what to do. Click the little bell and the little alerts. 
doesn't guarantee you'll see it, but uh, it gives you a better chance of seeing it. And also, if you want to support the channel, there's a link in the description. Buck ninety nine a month gets you sixteen episodes about fish news uh, and freshwater and saltwater ecology news around the world. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you on the next video. Have a great day, guys. Bye.